Hey guys, so we're back with another video. So we just got done talking about day four. Now we're gonna be talking about day five, the highlights of the world championship for day five. So now day five was amazing, like always. Um, it aired on the 20th of July. So now let's check what went down that made it so special. Okay, so let's go right into it. So for day five, we had so much upset from this event like all the events that went down it was pretty crazy okay so let's check it out so when we looked upon the afternoon and morning session we basically gonna talk about you know what went down so for day five which was the highlight we had Jack Whitman from Great Britain passed the favorite Olympic Jacob Ingerbrechtlin from Norway which he won um, the 15 meters as his father called the race um, which is pretty cool um, then we have Drew Jurof Whitman who is serving as one of the stadium sponsors so that's pretty cool that his dad was the, also the one that called out the uh, 1500 meters now in the men's 400 hurdles finals we had the Christian Warnholm faded on the home stretch while the Brazilian Alison Dos Santos who won the time of the race with a time of 46 29 seconds beating out the uh, Viking and American Ry Benjamin crossed the line in second place with a silver and then for third place we had Trevor Bassett who got third so Dos Santos said his next step was for his agenda was he wants some pizza and soda <laughs> which is pretty funny um, these were all the things that were said um, for that but I was watching the race like I said what we're gonna do with a couple of months next week we're gonna relive some of the race um, I'm gonna make a reaction to them and I'm gonna post them so if that's something that you guys are interested in you guys could all them then also on Tuesday at the Oregon track we also had the US sprinter Arian Knighton and Noah Lyles who won their prospective semifinals in the men 200 meters now it was set to renew their rivalry for the final so the former Oregon Duck Gina Prandini missed out achieving to the final so Prandini only got to the semifinals and the 200 while Jamaican Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price joins Tamara Clark as the winner for third heat and American Abby Steiner also qualified for the finals so the US team Cindy McLaughlin and Shamir Little and the Lila Muhammad and Brittman Wilson advanced to the semifinals for the women's 400 meters. Then we also find the um, the the United States upper um, upped the medal tally with 18 holding, easily keeping up the Americans at number one for the medal table, which is pretty crazy. Then when we started looking at for Wednesday at the uh, 5,000 heat the 5,000 uh, meters we had the finishing fourth and the 10,000 the Olympic 10k and 5k champion Sofa Hassan for the I think that was the women's 10,000 5,000 from the Netherlands will be back for the 5,000 so will the American Carousel Switzer and the one that finished nine on Saturday in the 10,000, Elsa Crendy, who won the 5,000 in the U.S. Championship, trained for Switzer on Poland. So it was pretty good. It was pretty good to see that. Um, then we have Bre um, Brazier beginning the title to defend his reigning 800. Donovan Brazier, who is the reigning world championship. Uh, athlete from I think Doha um, who trains in Poland and the Union um, Athletic Club began his defending his title Brazier who earned his wild entry into the world championship as 
2009 became the medalist but been slowed by injury due to injury he was very he was having some issues um i remember that because he was not looking himself as he went to like the rounds so that's definitely showing that he was still feeling like kind of like weak but i could tell like he was healthy enough to win his heat last month at the u.s championship before opting out for the race in the semifinal then we're gonna follow by the chase this on discuss for villa which is the world champion gold medalist and won the gold medal she won her last two year in tokyo um elman had the longest throw in qualifying for the following for the netherlands and then we had the cuban yoma perez this is was the beginning of the event then we had the women's steeplechase uh, final, which American Courtney Frenches and Emma Emma Goldburn and Courtney Wartman will mix it up with the um, favorite Noah Druta of Kestistan. Ken Kestistan, if I'm mistaking how it is. Um, so Brokeman is the track club as well as the world American record holder and one of the four runners in the 15 women's field who has broken nine minutes in the event. So that's also a big deal for the steeplechase. Okay, I think that's what happened in day four. Um, day five, I mean. So it wasn't that much um, craziness. Day five had more of a laid back because I remember they were explaining that after the Jamaicans ran one two three and then you had the Americans ran one two three they had more like a break and day five there was not major there was not many major events that went down but um, it was pretty good it was pretty good um, I think they did what they had to um, that's gonna cover day five because it was very short so um, I'm pretty happy and I think some of my predictions were I think the Americans got either one or got second in the steeplechase the discus gold got I think for the American and then for the 5,000 and um, Brazer I hopefully Brazer man managed to get with uh, the win um, but yeah some other events sounds cool um, but I think the major events that a lot of people were to focus on was definitely the 100, 200, and 400, and four, 400 hurdles, and 400 hurdles for the men. Like, these were some of the events that I think I'm going to focus on as well. So we're going to talk about that on my morning podcast for day 6 and 7. So I'm going to cover 6 and 7, and then I'm going to cover 8 and 9 tomorrow as well so morning session is six and seven and then afternoon session will be eight and nine and then i think sunday will close it out for day 10 so that will make up the world championship because i know we have the four by one and we have the 400 meters i want to know who won that um for the 200 and yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be good as always guys make sure guys subscribe i wanted to do the videos like this because for the other two podcasts i want to i want to cover um episode 13 and episode um episode 14 and 13 those will be for the day four and day five and then episodes 15 and 16 will cover day six and seven and then lastly we'll cover day eight and nine for saturday later on saturday and then we'll cover the last one which will be day 10 so we'll, we'll be right on schedule okay guys so as always guys make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you for more world championship track news as well as um any track and field news or anything that is happening for world champion field you guys can leave a comment down below and always guys, I am Sleepy Celestial, I am your host, and I am signing out. Bye bye guys.